Um, good afternoon, Pamela. Thank you for joining. Um, I would like to start this interview by asking you uh, to tell us a little bit more about your current job, um, uh, the organization that you're working in, and if you can describe what's like the activities that you're doing. Okay. Hey, Anna. Thanks for the invite. Uh, well, at the moment, I am working for the TU Delft in the in the water management department for the sanitary engineering section. Um, I am finalizing my work as a PhD researcher. So I was working in a, in a Marie Curie project um, a, for wastewater treatment for resource recovery. The program is the Super W program. A program. And uh, right now, also, I am doing the transition to a postdoctoral position in the in the same department. And basically, my research was a, experiment, a lot of experimental work, uh, as you can imagine, because I was working in the in the water lab. And also, what it involves is a little bit of uh, a student supervision. You have to uh, well, a scientific. You have to write scientific papers. And, and now, postdoctoral position. Besides, uh, besides of that, uh, and starting your own uh, small line of research, uh, there will be also the writing of uh, research proposals and grants. Okay. And now a bit of a different question. Um, why did you decide to enroll in um, our IMETE program? Uh, well, when I was still finalized, well, I finished already my my bachelor's in Ecuador. I am originally from Ecuador, uh, so then I was I was working uh, for a little bit uh, for the uh, Ministry of Environment, but I was looking still for uh, another opportunity to actually uh, improve my current knowledge and also like expand. Um, a little bit my view in certain environmental areas. Uh, so that's why I, I didn't want to have something really already very focused either in air, in air quality or water treatment. I wanted to see to explore something a little bit broader, but then uh, later uh, try to uh, focus my area of expertise. But for the masters, I wasn't really looking for something uh, very specific. That's why uh, the the core of the academic core of the IMETE program uh, looked really appealing to me. And also the experience of, you know, uh, going abroad and living in three different countries that one was also sounded very exciting at the moment. Because what was your background as a bachelor? I am an environmental engineer okay. as a background, and I have a, a minor degree in chemical engineering. Okay, okay. And then that's how you went into it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what was your experience with the course, and what did you like the most? Well, I think all in all, it was a it was a satisfactory experience. Um, I think I like it. It was challenging the fact of that uh, you have to live in three different countries and basically in each country start all over again. Um, but I think like that was actually what made it worth it. That it was an extra challenge. Uh, besides the, the academic challenge that the master's program already implies, uh, these small little things uh, make it really uh, make uh, really make you more resilient to different uh, changes and conditions so that you are already uh, adapted. So I think all, all in all was a good experience. And besides the, the, the people that you are able to know there, not only your classmates, but also the, the lecturers, uh, it's it's an, an amazing opportunity that you get around uh, with people that are top in their fields. Uh, so I, I found it like a very uh, nice experience. And how was your experience living in these three countries in Europe? Um, well, it was very different in the three of them. Uh, at first, also the, the fact that you are living uh, very far away from home was uh, at the beginning very shocking. Um, but the good thing is actually that you are you are not the only one doing that. Every all your uh, your uh, let's say classmates are more or less experiencing the same. So there's kind of like a small family that is moving around uh, around Europe, 
And I think actually what that's what it made it uh, at the end doable because doing it by yourself all alone, I think it's, it's more tricky. But uh, I think it's also like a very, it's very good for, for your growth as a, as a human being to becoming more independent and also not really uh, attached to your personal belongings, for example, because it's impossible to try to travel around Europe with two big suitcase, suitcases of 24 kilos or something like that. It's like you have to really uh, get things, uh, yeah, just like leave things in every place and start all over. Uh, but then you start just becoming like more flexible and you have like less limitations with yourself. So I think it's it's tricky, but at the end it's also, it was, um, it, was an, it was a nice experience, like an experience that only if you have done it, you really understand uh, what it implies. And I think like we live in three very beautiful places. So in Delft, in Ghent and in Prague. Uh, so also like the cultural experience and that's something that I really, really value uh, nowadays. What do you see yourself doing in the next few years? In the next few years, well, I really want to stay uh, in in research, but maybe moving towards more research and development. Uh, but something that is really uh, triggering me now is to um, move this part of, of research, but more towards the uh, some solutions for the problems in the developing countries. I mean, I have worked now for my PhD with a, with a technology that it's, um, let's say, uh, in terms of the, of, that it could be apply, uh, applicable for developing countries, I see it that still the cost efficiency is not, we're not really there, is still at a large scale. But that was, that was interesting for me to actually realize in that Uh, for the next couple of years, I would like to uh, also look for more creative and innovative solutions in the part of, of sanitation and wastewater treatment, but moving a little bit the focus more towards uh, the situation in the developing countries. Because, yeah, I mean, in the developed countries, uh, at least the sanitation, the sanitation situation, it's, it's very good. Uh, but we are still in the developing countries, we are still not observing that. So that's something that I really want to try to focus my work in the upcoming years uh, towards that. And towards also to achieve a, a little bit of a different model of the, of the sanitation uh, systems in, in the developing countries. Not only you know that you have a solution that it works in a developed country when just move it there and try to make it work, but something more that really takes into account the, the, the requirements of the, of the site where you want to place it. I think that the next question is a bit related to what you were explaining now, and I would just invite, invite you then to elaborate a little bit more. Um, the question is, what is a cause, idea, or project you believe in or would like to pursue? Yeah, well, I think I want to go in a little bit, one step ahead. Uh, but as I said, I think uh, it's very important, and at least for my experience that I have had at the moment, uh, doing research in a, a, let's say, not really resource-constrained environment, where you have the things that you need and you really don't face too many limitations in terms of in terms of technologies and monitoring of the of the process that you are that is being carried out in the in the lab. But when you actually move uh, to a, a developing country, when actually from the some of the situations that I have experienced myself in Ecuador, I know that we it, uh, that we don't work under those conditions. We indeed face limitations in terms of resources, in terms of of knowledge, uh, yeah, you name it. So that's why I, I after my experience uh, doing this, doing this research, I want to continue um, 
in the field of anaerobic digestion and also wastewater treatment. But I would really like uh, to focus more towards uh, technologies that can be implemented in the in the developing countries, and also that we can uh, move uh, from only achieving the target of sanitation, but actually going towards uh, the recovery of resources, but actually resources that are valuable for uh, maybe agriculture or that can uh, have a more immediate use and that are actually have an added value for these local economies. So it's not just like uh, trying to make resource recovery because of, but really considering which are the needs of the place and then that the system is actually first achieving the sanitation needs and then afterwards it could be a it could be also very nice if you can actually recover something that is an added value for the for the local economy. Uh, so that's like uh, something that we want to explore during this, uh, also during the, my postdoctoral uh, research, that I am going to be working uh, still with uh, with some people from my current uh, research team uh, for the postdoctoral position, um, and so we will see how that one goes. Well, good luck with that. Uh, I hope Thank it goes you. really well. It sounds a, a quite intense uh, work and a nice project. Um, do you think that the knowledge you have gained from the IMEPI program can help you to achieve it? Yeah, well, I think actually uh, it has been uh, until well, from what I have uh, gained so far, there have been several steps, and I have had several contributions. I have the contribution from from my bachelor's, uh, so thanks to that, I know some of the fundamentals. Of course, those ones were actually solidified when I did the masters, and also I got my like my mind also got a little bit more open regarding the available technologies that you can put into place because then you know like the the fundamentals from your bachelor's but the part of the technology sometimes you cannot make the link then in the master's I was able to do that and now during the PhD it was like a kind of a very uh, concentrated effort is that you needed to work uh, in a particular technology and understand as much as you can of that one and if if possible, I try to propose a solution for a certain problem, but if not, at least gain a considerably deep level of understanding. And so now it's like, if you want to go one step farther in research, it's like, yeah, based on all the steps that you have done before, so what are you going to do next? So it's you, you collect a little bit of all your past experience, and of course, I cannot deny that the, the IMT program has has a, a significant influence in the in the decisions and also it has made its contribution to it. And um, uh, what advice would you give to our students or anyone who's interested in applying for the IMETI program? Which advice? Well, I think actually the the best advice that I can give. Um, uh, if I will be asked <laughs> to, to give an advice, will be to really make the most of the experience. It's like it's an opportunity that not everybody has. So if you are you are selected or you go with a scholarship, uh, it's really an, uh, it's really a, a great opportunity. So try to make the most. Uh, don't don't be afraid of ask as many questions as you have. Don't be afraid to talk to the people. Uh, try to get to know, get into contact with as many people as you can. Not only from your batch, but also with the with the professors, with other people around, because you don't know when the next opportunity is going to be. Like in my case, I am very grateful because the moment that I needed a recommendation letter for my PhD, I was able to actually ask to one of my lecturer, lecturers from the METI program, and she gave me and actually that opened the door for me for having this opportunity of doing uh, this this PhD uh, project. So that's that's something that I would like to say. Uh, when you have the moment also speak up, show your talent. If you are there, it's because you deserve it. So don't actually don't 
don't start putting too much into your mind, like too much pressure against yourself, because uh, that's not good. It, that is not going to show your real you. So uh, in any opportunity that you can actually try to uh, try to be yourself, but uh, make the make the most of the of the opportunity that you that you are having. It's it's a really um, I think it's a really nice program, and you are actually you you are meeting uh, a lot of people. You are meeting a lot of places. So this actually really opens your opens your mind. So if you are able to join uh, the program, uh, do it. But also uh, try to make the most of the most of it because it's it's a very selected group that ended up doing the. Uh, doing this program, so make the most make the most of the of the opportunity that is give, is being given to you. With this super insightful note, we're gonna finish this interview. Thank you, Pamela, for your time and for joining us. Thank you, Anna, for the for the interview, and good luck uh, with the new recruitment. Thank you.